Hey designers, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to make this simple uh, counter switcher using variables and conditionals. Uh, you see that we can add one and we can subtract one and it doesn't go below zero. All right, guys, so let's start. And first of all, we need to create our text layer. So we select our text instrument. We click anywhere on the canvas and we press for example zero that's going to be our um, our counter uh, number and let's make it a little bit larger maybe uh, 48 and now let's make buttons that will uh, enlarge the number and subtract from it so uh, let's make them and we'll use our rectangle uh, let's make it First of all, it's going to be a minus and a plus button. So uh, let's make it like this. Uh, for example, it will be 48 also for the width and about 4 for the height. And uh, let's make it round corners. Uh, let's put 100. Uh, and let's copy it. And here we copy this line also. And now we rotate it like this and put it uh, next to each other like this and let's align it in the center and in the middle like this like so and now let's group it or we can change it to uh, a shape using the boolean groups and we uh, use union selection now it's a uh, shape okay uh, so let's create a circle around it. Uh, we can do it several in several ways, but I'll do it in the way that I'll create uh, a frame, for example, 80 pixels. And then I put inside of it, I'll put a minus sign. I'll put it in the center and in the middle. And I'll make it round corners. Let's make it 100. Uh, you could use ellipse, but I don't know. I like to use frames. So, and here I put plus in the center of it also. Now I want to color them and let's select both of them and change the selection colors. Let's change white to this blue, for example. I have it over here already. And let's change gray to white like this. Uh, and now we need to make a hover state. Uh, so let's copy them and press option and drag. And now we change the colors and let's make them a little bit darker like this. So when we click uh, or when we hover, it will be darker. So now let's change the names of it. So we select both of these uh, minuses command R, we'll press command R, and now we change the name, we put minus here, slash, and here we select number with the arrow down, and now we have one and two. And here we select both of these buttons, command, press command R, and here we uh, write plus slash number down. And here we have plus and plus one, plus two. Now we select again both of them and we create component set like this. And here we create component set as well for the plus buttons. And that's it. These are our buttons. And now we go to prototype and we drag our prototype line to the second, the second variant. And here we, for example, leave it on click and uh, instant. And then we drag it from the second variant to the first one and we select after delay and it's going to be one millisecond. So when we click, it returns to the first state like that. Same here for the plus. So we connect the first variant to the second one, click on click, change to, and this one is going to be from the second variant to the first variant after delay one millisecond instant that's it that's it for now uh okay so now we go to our assets panel and we have our 
minus and plus button here. So we drag it over uh, and plus button, we drag it over here. All right, now we select both of them. Oh, select all three of these assets and we press Shift A to make it into our layout. And now we should change uh, the position. Let's align them in the center, in the middle. And let's uh, put 40 pixels here. So the, the spacing between the buttons and the number is 40 pixels like this. Let's change the color of the uh, number to, for example, all this dark gray. And now let's add another auto layout. And let's change the color of it for the fill. Now let's make it white and let's add some paddings uh, and let's add 24. No, actually, let's add 48 uh, on left and right. And also let's add 48 on top and bottom like this. Uh, it might look too big. Let's check it. Uh, but before that, now let's change the roundness of the corners to again um, about 1000 pixels but yes it looks too big let's change it to 24 and this one is going to be 24 too yeah i think this looks okay uh, and now the most interesting part is going to be happening we're going to be changing this number and we're going to be adding um, prototyping with um, local variables so let's add variable now we go to local variables and we click on this open variables icon and here i already have the amount but i'll delete it and i'll add a new one so you can see how it works so i press create a variable i select number uh, here it's going to be number well we can change it to amount and the value is zero uh, and now when i go to the text layer i select my uh, my number here with a uh, comment click and i find the variables icon on the right of here you see where the uh, settings for the text are here is the icon i press on it and i select variable amount so if i change the number i change the value inside my variable to for example 12 you'll see it changes over here too but we'll leave it to zero right now okay so that's it for now and now let's go to the frames and let's add a frame and it's going to be our 14 pro max iphone like this and now well, let's change the background of it let's make it uh light blue like this like this color I think is okay now we put our frame with our um, counter inside like this and now let's make a prototype and we select the plus button we go to prototype and we add interaction and we add oh, hold on we go to interaction the one that we already had and we click on plus over here to add action and here we select set variable and when we click on the set variable we have a small option here and we can see that there are variables here that we have in our uh, design that's the amount and we select it and then we should select it again like to um, to let figma know that something is going to be happening to this variable we select again and now we should select the action and we'll be adding uh, a number to this when we press plus so we select addition plus and we select or we press one on our keyboard to add one and we press enter so when we press plus button it will add one to this variable and now we should make another uh, variable for uh, for the uh, minus and we select our um, interaction we press plus and we set uh, we press set variable again and here we select amount the amount variable and select amount again and now we should choose subtraction 
so we subtract one when we click on minus button and now we click enter uh, but it's very important to add a conditional to the minus button because we don't want to have the situation when we go below zero so now we add conditional and the conditional will work like this we select if and we select amount uh, and now we should select uh, not equal to and here we press zero like this and this is a tricky part and it's really important that we need to connect and the set variable minus subtraction with conditional and now the very important thing that you should do you should add this variable information inside the conditional to do that you should kind of hover the set variable option click on it oops click on this little icon on the on the left and sort of you know like drag it drag it inside inside the conditional like this so this is ready it's ready for action let's check it out now we select our frame we press shift spacebar and we see our prototype loaded now we press the plus button and we see that uh, we're adding number we're adding one and now when we press minus we see that we're subtracting we're subtracting and uh, from from the center from the from the main main mount and when we go to zero the minus doesn't work you see when we click on it it doesn't work and also we see a small animation of the button uh, that it turns darker when i press on it guys i hope you like this video and i hope it was useful for you so don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and in the comments below write topics that you're interested in and i'll see you in the next one have fun designs bye bye